everyone, welcome to our baking club family. My name is Didi and my goal for today is to turn your home, your kitchen into a fun bakery with me. In, um, in our subscription box this month, we'll find my brand new healthy recipe and we'll learn how to make delicious no bake chocolate cake. Mmm, already sounds so yummy. Let's see what is inside the box. We we'll have a welcome card, and in this welcome card, you find it's the beginning of your baking journey. Um, we like to welcome you in our club and to let you know that you are not alone. Every time when you need our help or you have questions, you can just send me and I'll be there for you. We'll have in the box all dry ingredients, what we'll need for the, for the cake. And they are labeled with number one, two, and three. In the recipe, when you follow the instructions, every time it says pack one, pack two, pack three, and you just need to follow the, the instructions. Or watch with me the video and try to make them with me. We'll have also some extra baking, extra like uh, uh, baking paper, mm, cake tins and you'll find also the booklet where you record all your skills, um, knowledge um, and you can write the recipe and keep it safe for next time when you decide to make it. So let's start now with, uh, with our healthy chocolate cake. The good thing is that is no bake. That means your parents can leave you alone with me and the help which you need from them, it's not that much because the oven, I don't recommend to use it by yourself. Every time when you need something with oven or something what you're not confident to do, ask for help from your parents. But this month, the recipe is really very simple and will not need the oven, but will need the stove. That's why uh, still we need the parents to help you. And the recipe will make it in two parts. We need to make the base and then we'll make the cream. And for the base, it's a really very simple. We need the flour, which is pack one. We'll need a butter and we'll need the coconut sugar. So, the coconut sugar, it's cold sugar, but actually this is produced from the coconut palm tree and is similar to the maple syrup. Uh, the farmers extract the nectar from the coconut tree and um, let it dry and the, the nectar get crystallized and become to coconut sugar. This is one of the healthiest options how to replace the normal white sugar. So let's start now with uh, making our base. And for the base we'll need, actually, I'll use straight away the pan and we need to pour over the, the flour, pack one, and just pour everything inside. 
will need also so pack one is inside and we'll put the back on the side we'll need also 75 grams of uh, butter you can use either the measurements here and the butter and you need it's every it's made of 25 grams you need just to calculate 75 which is 125 225 3 times 25 3 times 25 makes 75 grams let's just cut or if you not confident with uh, this measurement uh, scale you can just uh, measure with the kitchen scale you know this is our uh, best friend in our journey because every baker needs to measure the ingredients this is the most accurate uh, uh, way how to make sure that uh, we have the exact amount of the ingredients otherwise we'll maybe we'll end with um, tender bakes or chewy or too soft but to make it just right we need our kitchen scale let's let's take three three lines of the butter one two three lines and this is exactly 75 grams of butter and just pour it in the pan we need to grate the butter and to grate the butter we'll need the grater of course but to prevent the butter from melting in our hands because our hands are quite warm we need to cover the butter with flour and this will help the butter not to get melt in our hands and we can use this side of the grater and just gently up and down move it up and down to grate the butter it's a very simple um, task but you need to be very careful not to cut your fingers that's why the best way is to keep the fingers a little bit further from the grater and again if you're not feeling confident just ask your parents and they'll be more than happy to help you so we'll have here grated the butter we'll take everything from inside and we need also the pack number two which is the coconut sugar we need to mix all ingredients inside and take the pan to the stove because we need to mm, not bake it but uh, make it like a golden crumbs cake crumbs and that will be for our base so let's go to the stove and i'll show you what you need to do so once you're ready with um, the stove you need to uh, switch it on to the like middle temperature i use mine is uh, with the scale one to six and i use it for a five put it on five and start mixing 
all the mixture, all the ingredients to combine them. So let's mix the ingredients together. We need to be patient and not to, to burn actually our crumbs. We need to continue stirring them to make sure they not stick on our pan and they not burn. So continuously just stirring the ingredients and they will form a little crumbs. So, you see, it starts already forming the crumbs. I love this recipe because um, with this learning how to make these little um, cake crumbs, we can use it in a, really a lot of recipes just to replace the um, biscuit in the cheesecake or if you like to make some um, mousse or puddings you can just add them it brings this uh, caramel and crunchy flavor to any dessert so it starts already baking them and that's why we need to continue stirring the ingredients to combine them and to get this gold color, what we aim for. Do you smell this nice smell? It's of coconut. That's why I love to replace the white sugar with uh, coconut sugar because it brings really such a nice taste and smell in our cakes so mixing mixing this is the part where your grown-up is helping you but still you can continue steering and they can watch you just to make sure you are safe and doing the right task. I know all the children, they love the mixing part. It's um, when they see when all the ingredients, separate ingredients, they get together and become to a something delicious. I think this is one of the most fascinating part in the baking. So, do you smell? Mm, it's so yummy. But we need to continue mixing. And it is something about five minutes probably we need to um, it's not fried actually it's just um, mm, making them the the gay crumbs in the pan If you want them more crunchy, you can just leave it a little bit longer and 
and if you want them soft you can take them out earlier from the stove I need a little bit longer and I will show you what we aim for So our cake crumbs are almost done, they get this really very lovely brown gold color and again if you want them a bit softer you can take them now out from the stove or if you want a little bit more crunchier just bake them for a minutes more so i think they are ready and they have to look like this this is the ideal color when we are ready with our cake crumbs we need to pour them in our cake tin or in the supplied actually let me just take them or in the supplied cake tins so it's up to you if you like you can use the, the teams which are inside your subscription box or ju uh, just use your normal cake tin you can use actually any it's um i used here flute, fluted uh, cake tin uh, but you can use it a round one or square or even just bake tray it's it's fine so i'll pull pour over the cake crumbs just spread them around and let me just leave the pan on the side and with the spoon you can just try uh, spread them evenly and press gently that they can form like a base okay i will show you this is our cake base i will leave it on the side because we need to start with our um preparing our filling and for the filling we'll need three bananas they it will be very nice if they are very ripe and soft but if they are not still they're fine because we'll use the blender and they'll get the soft so once we are ready with the bananas just now with your little hands just chop the bananas in small parts and this will be much easier for the blender so 
Do you want to eat the bananas now? No, just leave it for the cake. You can taste them later. Okay, you can eat one piece. You see, it's, it's fun and it's healthy. Bananas in chocolate cake. Mm, you wonder why the bananas are as rich in so many vitamins, fiber and they are very good for our bones, make strong bones. Also, they are rich in potassium, which makes our heart working easier. So, the bananas in the chocolate cake, it's a perfect combination. It's yummy and it's healthy. The next ingredients, what we need to add is 180 grams of coconut butter. You need to melt the butter and then measuring 180 grams. We'll just pour over everything. And in the recipe, it says five drops of mint extract. If you don't have a mint extract, that's completely fine. Don't worry, use your favorite. Orange, um, almond, uh, even vanilla is fine. Any what you have. Don't pressure your parents. Is You can take anything what you have in your cupboard and we'll do just a small dash of of the extract and also we'll need five tablespoons of agave syrup honey syrup or maple syrup any it's fine it's up to you what you have in your cupboard or what is your favorite one so let's Start measuring one, two, three, four, five. I have here five, but if you want and like your mm, feelings to be a uh, sweeter or mm, you just love more sweetness add one two more it's up to your taste because it, this is a really healthy option and will bring you a like the the bananas a lot of benefits that's why you can use as much as you like but just be careful not too sweet so, when we have ready our mixture, we need to blend it. And I use my uh, hand blender, but if you like, let me just switch it on. But if you like, you can use your kitchen robot, um, anything what will help you to blend all the ingredients. Let's start now. Make sure, make sure you blend everything together and to have a really very soft and smooth mixture. It's now the mixture is ready to add the the coconut uh, the cocoa powder and the cocoa powder is our next healthy ingredients why i say healthy and it looks like a chocolate yes 
Chocolate could be made also from very healthy ingredients and one of those is this organic raw co um, cocoa powder. It is full of iron, it is full of nutrition, it's a really extremely yummy and make our feelings chocolatey and makes you want to eat more and more and that's completely fine you can eat as much as you like because you can say your mom yes i made my healthy chocolate that's why i can eat as much as you like and i'm 100 percent happy that she let you because this mousse this feeling it's part of nutrition and vitamins so, next time when you want a hot chocolate, you can use this organic raw coconut, uh, sorry, cocoa powder and add to your milk. And if you want to bring some sweetness inside, just pour some maple syrup or a gaff syrup or honey and you have a very delicious chocolate cake. So let's go back to our mixture, our chocolate mousse and now we need to combine all the ingredients and to be careful not the cocoa powder go poof around us is just slowly start mixing it. Press gently and stop. Gently and stop. So, slowly, slowly, our mixture, our chocolate mousse, it's ready and it should look like this. It's not liquidy anymore, it's quite firm and it's ready to pour it in our baking tin. So let's take this out. Uh, just a very useful tip for next time when you make this recipe you can just change it instead of a um, cake you can make it a chocolate mousse in a cup in a glass and just sprinkle some nuts if you're not allergic or you can sprinkle some mm, coconut, you can uh, sprinkle even some uh, cocoa powder over and you have a really delicious chocolate mousse. 
healthy chocolate mousse and every time when you fancy some sweet chocolate thing to eat you can make this recipe so let me just leave the blender and taking again our tin I can use this um, spatula to pour over some and just make sure you cover the whole tin so Just now gently spread the mixture it's fine if you take some of the cake crumbs and bring it to the top that's completely fine don't worry still the cake will be delicious We have some more here. You, you want to start trying it. Start licking the bow. Yes, that's completely fine. I know it looks delicious and it smells so yummy. Even me, I can't stop also thinking about licking the bowl. But I'll just wait a few more minutes to show you our ready cake. And then I'll enjoy licking the bowl. So, once we have all the mousse poured in our cake tin, we'll just try to spread it evenly and then to finish the cake you can just leave it like it is or if you want to be more creative you can just take a small teaspoon and start from the middle making circles like a spiral so our cake is ready to go where not in the oven it's not baked cake that's why we need to leave it for uh, like two three hours in the fridge to get firm and it will be ready to enjoy it so don't forget to share a piece with your parents they deserve also some nice treat do you think yes they really deserve a nice treat i hope you enjoyed today's video and this month's healthy recipe you can keep the recipe in your folder and every time when you fancy something delicious quick and yummy you can go back and making the, this recipe i hope you remember what we have learned today and you can put in your record book the skills what we learned today do you remember Yes, let's tell them again just to make sure you're on the right track and you record everything. The skills what we learned with this recipe is first how to create butter and not let the butter melt in your hands. 
Do you remember how? Cover the butter with flour and then grate it. This will protect the butter from melting. This is number one. Number two, we learn how to measure. We learned how to measure butter with the lines. And this is also a must because measuring, counting, adding, timing, we, we are so busy doing all these things. Um, we also learn and how when the temperature change to a different ingredients, they, they change also their consistency. Now our mousse is firm, but still uh, very uh, soft. And if you cut now the cake, it will become like, it will spread, it will not stick together. But if we change the temperature, in our fridge is cooler than outside that means we'll bring some um, cold some low temperature to our mousse and the mousse will change the consistency it will be more firmer and it will be a proper fudge chocolate cake I hope you remember also the health choices what we made today with our recipe. We use coconut sugar instead of white sugar or brown sugar. This is one of the ways how we replace the normal sugar with healthier options. And every time when you have the chance to replace the white sugar with any substitution, just choose that. It's more healthy and is better for you. We learned also the, the benefits of the bananas. You remember? They are good for our bones. They are good for our heart. And they are full with vitamins and a lot of nutrition. We learned also about the cocoa powder. We learned that the cocoa powder is full. It's packed of iron which is really very important for our health and the cocoa powder it's full with nutrition again and it's make our hot chocolate or any cakes healthier using a organic raw chocolate a, a organic raw powder so Thank you for watching me and be together with me. I hope you had a really good fun making this recipe. And if you have any questions or need help with something, just email me and I'll try to help you. Thanks for watching. See you next month with a new healthy recipe.